everybody, I'm Patty Jackson, and welcome to the weekend edition. Of course, we've got lots of stuff as we go into this weekend. I'm going to say this guy's name slow. Blitz Basawool. He's going to be directing the Color Purple musical. Yes, the Color Purple, the movie, the book. It was on Broadway. It's now going to be made into a movie musical. And yes, I got the scoop. Let's go back to 1982. You had the book by Alice Walker, The Color Purple. Then in 1985, you had the movie by Steven Spielberg. This is where Oprah Winfrey burst on the scene as a movie star with her role as Sophia. In 2005, you had The Color Purple, the Broadway production, which went on to win Tony Awards, Grammys, Emmys. When you think of The Color Purple, you think of jazz, ragtime, gospel, blues, and African rhythms all brought together. So who is Blitz Basel? He is a composer, he is a musician, and The Color Purple, which is based on the 1982 book by Alice Walker, has gone through so many transformations. And now, The Color Purple is being made into a movie musical. The seventh season of The Real Talk Show is kicking off September 21st, and there are some changes. New to the cast, actress Garcelle Bouveau. Who is she? Many of us remember her from the Jamie Foxx show where she played Fancy. She's no stranger to this. She's been on NYPD Blue. She was part of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills franchise. She's also going to be in the new Eddie Murphy movie, Coming to America 2. Garcelle is 53, the mother of three kids. She's one of them glam moms. Yes, she is our grandmom. And she's going to add a very interesting touch to the reel. Will this signal the reel going into a different direction? We're all going to find out on September 21st, the seventh season of The Reel kicks off. Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel basically took off with the summer, and I think we're beginning to see why. He's going to be hosting the Emmys, which are going to air in September. He's also gearing up for another season of the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, which is going to be airing in prime time. Jimmy says he's up for the challenge, and he's always loved the show. Are you into magazines? I know that I am. The September issue of Vanity Fair magazine is dedicated to Breonna Taylor. It was during this year that she was gunned down in her own apartment. And to this day, no one has been charged. Remember her name, Breonna Taylor. Brianna Taylor is being honored in a major way. Of course, Oprah Winfrey with O Magazine, but now Vanity Fair is stepping up to the plate. The article is interesting because in it, they talk to Brianna's mother, who tells us how she found out hours later what actually happened to her daughter. She wants those to know that her daughter should not die in vain, and we must always remember her name. Vanity Fair, special tribute to Breonna Taylor. Glamour Magazine, been around forever. This year, for the first time in its history, they're dedicating it to black hair. So what do you mean, black hair? Everything that we as black women go through with our hair. It's fascinating. To some, they don't get it. To some, it's wondrous as you embrace your natural hair, as you embrace your curls, or maybe like me, embrace the locks. The entire issue, September issue of Glamour Magazine is dedicated to black women, their stories, and hair. If you are a fan of DC Comics, I know that you just got such a kick out of past weekend. DC Comics presented Fandom, 
where they gave you a look at some exciting projects on the way. Let's start with Wonder Woman 1984. Gal Gadot is back and she's just looking fabulous. You've got Chris Pine. He's also joining us. Because of the pandemic, the movie had to be delayed, but now it is set for an October release. Wonder Woman 1984 takes us to the year 1984. Remember actress and I guess you could say comedian Kristen Wiig. We know her from Saturday Night Live. She plays the villain, everybody. She plays Cheetah. This is going to be very interesting. Wonder Woman 1984. It's coming in October. I've got scoop on the Batman movie. Yes, this Batman is going to star Robert Pattinson. Of course, we know him from the Twilight movies, and he's come a long way. Matter of fact, he's in the new Tenet movie with John David Washington. But next year, he's going to be gracing the screen. Bruce Wayne, Batman. It's brooding. It's a little different. Let me tell you about the cast. You've got Robert Pattinson as Batman. You're going to have Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman. Acclaimed actor Jeffrey Wright. He's going to be playing Commissioner Gordon. I want you to check this out because you totally will not even recognize actor Colin Farrell. He's so handsome. But look at him. He's going to be playing the Penguin. This movie is coming out next year as Batman fights Catwoman, the Penguin, the Riddler. It's going to be really interesting. Robert Pattinson brings a brooding, and, and it looks dark. So it's kind of like really delving into new characters with Batman. But a lot of people are excited. The trailer looks amazing. Get ready for Batman. It's coming next August 2021. I've got scoop on another DC movie. This time we're talking about Suicide Squad, which is coming out next year. Margot Robbie is back as Harley Quinn, but guess who she is featured with? Check out Idris Elba. Yes, Idris Elba, who's going to be playing Bloodsport. You've got Storm Reed. You've got John Cena. You've got Pete Davidson. And guess what? Viola Davis is coming back. Suicide Squad 2. It's promising some new characters, some new excitement, and it's coming to theaters next summer. I hope you enjoyed the weekend edition. Lashana Simon puts it all together. It's a little bit fancier version of what you're used to seeing during the week, but we love to keep you up to date with everything that's happening, entertainment and pop culture. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Tell people about the channel. The channel is growing. Subscribe, hit the like button. And yes, Auntie does read the comments. So do say hi. This is our weekend edition, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Patty Jackson. It's not cute not knowing. I'm your Auntie of Pop Culture.